And I want to thank you for several things this morning. I want to thank you for your love for our Lord and Savior. I want to thank you for your love of our nation. Thank you for the love of our families, our communities. Thank you for your love for faith. Thank you for your love for justice. Thank you for your love of truth. And thank you most of all for your service. We love you and thank you for being here. Veterans Day marks the anniversary of the end of World War I, which ended on the 11th month, on the 11th day, at the 11th hour in 1918. Today, there are about 18 million living veterans who have served in at least one war. Let us remember them every day. To those veterans here in our presence today, our nation will forever be indebted to your service and sacrifice. It's a price that can never be repaid. It is our duty as a nation to forever ensure that your selfless actions of service shall never be forgotten nor ever taken for granted. Since the early founding of our armed forces early in with the National Guard on December 13th of 1636, men and women of our nation have stepped up and into service generation after generation for now over 384 years. Our servicemen and women today continue to actively serve our nation and secure its freedoms, again, abroad and at home. 